Right. Yeah, they're gonna be running a fiber, so if you guys so what, can we can we hop on that somehow? Honestly, they'll probably be out here tomorrow splicing. They gotta run the actual line. For who? For AT&T. Who's getting it? Or they're just running yeah, it? Yeah, it's through the whole neighborhood. So whoever wants to get it, you know, you just call them up and then they'll run you a drive. So this is brand new. It's, it's not brand Spectrum new or whatever. No, 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 it's AT&T, it's the 5G, you know. The you wanna buy a car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs> this is Sparky. Sparky's the house doggy and we love him. All right, good morning everyone, members of the Nub Nation, the Dream Team. Ooh, wow, look at that. Wow, uh, he's taking over. So the situation today is January... <gasps> nope, try again. January 1st, I was antiquing with my beautiful wife. I happened upon, who she's right over there! <laughs> so I happened upon this antique ironing board. Jordan was like, don't buy it, don't buy it. And I was like, dude, I'm buying it. So $40 later, I walked out of the antique store. $40 later, I walked out of the antique store with this brick. You guys are good. With this fine piece of machinery right here, it's a 1940s ironing board. Look, these guys are here to help. We're getting some, uh, Wireless internet installed, not for us, for the neighbors. My dad would never want Wi-Fi, it's, you know, sacrilegious. But uh, the, essentially the plan today is we are gonna turn this into a Ben Gravy surfboard. So in my past, I've surfed on a door, I surfed on a plank of plywood, and I'm sure we can show some other clips of other stuff that I've surfed on that was kind of interesting. this average everyday ordinary ironing board and turn it into a surfboard. Step one, take this thing apart so we're starting with a clean slate. Mr. Fix it. You're loving this, aren't you? <laughs> I'm stoked we found this. How are we looking? Pretty damn good, right? Dude, I think this should be your tail. No. Tail. No. <laughs> this is gonna be sick. That's the top, right? Let me see. This What's the, the natural curvature of the board? I think that might have to be the bottom. This Lay one. it back down real quick. Oh, it's straight flat. So this is the bottom. Actually, it's it's got a little bit. So this is a good bottom this is the then. Bottom, yeah. yeah. Perfect. So we gotta sand it. Sand it. Step two. Sand it. Step two, prepare for future steps. So, something I haven't done in the past is actually customized these oddities to look like my actual boards. So today will be the first time we do something groundbreaking like this where the thing gets customized and it actually ends up looking like one of my surfboards. 
Dream on, dreamers. Oh, it's so close. Let's do this in the back. Oh, wait, no. The holes, though. Do you care about them? Dude, you can make this a That's tiny. why I was thinking I want them in the front, because this the fastest part of the board has to be the tail. So, how's that looking? It's pretty close. Just gotta get it so, like, look, least amount of holes, kinda. How's it going? How you going? Going so good, bro. looking good, dude. Look at that. It's gotta come towards the Better than the last one. <laughs> Adding another step because JP's a perfectionist. This guy. It's like the perfect angle though. I think that was the best unnecessary step we took. Okay, so we need that, and then cut that, and then cut that. Alright, step whatevers. We are gonna glue the slick to the bottom of the stick. Ha! Ah! Uh... Oh! And that's it. Ha! That's it, it's over. The slick, or the bottom, mm -hmm. is now glued to the ironing board with high intensity adhesive. So, Gorilla glue. it says 24 hours, but... We'll give it 25 minutes. <laughs> we're just, it's so old. We're gonna play it by ear. <laughs> Chances are we'll be shredding this thing by three o'clock. He had to bring the motorcycle into it. This is a classic example of toxic masculinity. <laughs> He's like, let me just get my bike. Dude, there's no windscreen on it too. It's just the whole time he'd be like getting Yeah, blasted. dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Ultimate bro down, no windscreen. <laughs> What kind of glue did you use? This Elmer's. Way? Oh, Elmer's? No. Yeah, Elmer's is the only kind you could I you use. Gorilla. Nah, yeah. Elmer's, dude. Gorilla. What's me. the top three surfing factoids of the day? Uh, today? Just quick, off the top. Kelly Slater has a hard time surfing sunset in professional contests. A. Uh, B. It's hard to think that Kelly or Medina are going to make the midseason cut. And I hate to keep saying it about Kelly, but that's two. And uh, three would be um, maybe Ben will just ride Doofy for the rest of his life. Or, excuse me, life. 
Yeah, did you ever try like, <laughs> while you're paddling, to pee at the same time? It's impossible. I don't know about that. I've it's impossible. It. Can you do it? Um, you got some of your feet are probably gonna be about here. Yeah, we're gonna want the fin like here, like further up than you'd think, dude. Like, what is it, like four foot? You want it like that, like four inches. Wait, measure that real quick. I'd go right at the five. Six, six is to this. Let's go this at the five. We want to get squirrely, that's but that's why you right. gotta set it five inches up so I actually have some room to slide. Right. Because I'm gonna be banking into three sixty. How long is this? Like less than four feet? It's long enough. Uh, wow, it is longer than I thought. Four, yeah. four, five. Four, five. Yeah, that's sweet. Four foot five inches of rage. So what's the motivation here? And what's penetration. The what's the angle? The angle of the. the angle? No, the idea of like what was. Well, it's. When did you take, concoct this idea? Um, when I was like seven years old. And you saw your mom's freaking ironing board. I've been wanting to surf an ironing board. And this is the family ironing board from day. No, this is. I bought this oh. at an antique store for forty bucks. So um, forty bucks for the ironing board, forty dollars on materials. We're in a full eighty. Free labor. And twenty bucks for his labor, probably, because I bought him lunch. There you go. Where at? Uh, Oceanside Pizza. Yeah. Is this the biggest square you have? Uh, You're the biggest I square I know. Okay, so. I gotta paddle a bit. Some things you don't think about. We weren't thinking about this when it came to the design. The fin box actually sticks out longer than the width of the board, so. Got to adapt. In an ironing board. <laughs> get, get this shot ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks pretty flat to me. <laughs> yeah, you actually have single concave. It's just on the right side. Look. <laughs> it's just right here. <laughs> Perfect. Put in a leash. Yeah, we're oh, gonna... don't cut it that. We're going to do it. Dude. Pop. Dude. My eye. <laughs> Dude, who do I sue? Somebody get on 95 and tell me the first disability lawyer you see. <laughs> I'll get you a thousand. The only way to make money in the United States. <laughs> is sue someone. We got it on video. Dude, that is f***ing amazing. Is this impressive to you? Dude. And you can use everything, right? Right out of your system? No way. Look at that stinger nose, bro. The DB up in here. Back in Benny the Yeah, <laughs> bag. Yeah, <laughs> douche bag. Did he? I think uh, we... I think we lose the washer and clip another level off and just get it. See how it's bumped up a little? Yeah. I feel like, uh, I feel like we can hug it. Uh, <laughs> that's straight. <laughs> what do you think the volume is? One liter. I was trying to figure out the plywood in Puerto Rico. Yeah, we have to drop you Maybe in Maybe it was like five? We have to drop you in a pool and figure out how much water is this place. And then there's a mathematical equation, B equals T over Z. Oh, we're gonna put some poly on it. Let's see if we can... Seal the deal? Makeshift <laughs> seal the deal. I'm gonna make you a real one. This is real. Look. I'm gonna make you one that... I'm gonna make you one that you're gonna wanna surf over your soft tops. It's like a new kind of hardboard. Sweet. So this is a pretty advanced procedure. We have a fin, a leash plug. Um, we got the deck on the bottom and the top's gonna be polyed. So this, this board is for real. This is the real deal, Holyfield. And JP for helping out this a little. This guy texts me in the morning, he's like, bro, I got a sick idea I think you're gonna be all about. Meet me at Starbucks. And that's how this all began. <laughs> I was like, you're gonna do everything. Wow. Uh, damn. That's not a good place. Why not? This, guy, this guy's too like wood shop. What? No, because I don't I'm like, on my nice jeans. I'm like Armageddon. You're like Woodshop. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start calling you Armageddon. <laughs> oh. What happened? Where's that? I just found it. Did you dog. kill it? No, what did somebody you step did. On it? No, but he's really pretty. He's black and white. I've never seen a bird like that. I don't want to get that close. We can build a. We can. We can dig a grave in the backyard. Don't let Sparky eat it. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, what the hell? Oh, not the hell, where is that at? Deserves a proper burial. How are you just holding it, bro? You are one with the earth now, my friend. Now we didn't are. know you for long, but we knew that you brought hands. joy and light to this world. Thank you, provided, Birdie. You provided the earth with happiness, passion, but sadly, at the end of the day, we all meet our doom and we all meet our demise. It's just sad that you had to meet yours today, but we will see you again when it is our time. Off to Birdie Heaven. Amen. <laughs> I don't want to be cocky, but did someone just say overnight success? Overnight success story. Dreams are still real if you believe in them. What do you think, dude? Is it done? Looks good, man. I think we just have to iron out a couple more details. Here's the thing about when your friend comes over at 6.30 a.m. Amp to surf. <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so we did successfully complete the project. The slick is on the bottom. It's firmly glued on. The top is shellacked and waterproof to the best of our ability for the price of $8. We do have a fin, one single fin, and we do have a working leash plug, TBA on that. But uh, We super glued it in. <laughs> it's something else, but uh, overall, I think when we get this thing down on the beach, it's really gonna come alive. Let's get it. Wait a second. I just had a vision. But to change, decided that we were gonna ruin my pineapple suit if I took it out. So, the moment is now. We're just walking, David? Sure. How's the weight on this thing? Gotta be 20 pounds. What do you think? Well, yeah, probably. I'm kind of pissed about this. How it's, it's you're good. not gonna plane off that well. Exactly. Terrible for ironing. <laughs> They're even worse for surfing an ironing board. And uh, that's it. We're here. We put in all the work. Now the dream comes down to will it surf? So wish me luck. This is these conditions are literally treacherous for an ironing board. So it's gonna be heavy.
he got that? I was like, Wait, what is he doing? Way heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, the one I stood up on, full speed. Yeah. Don't worry. All right, Nub Nation, my creepy hotel room in Lumberton, North Carolina. A lot, oh my good. It's not that creepy. A lot different than the beaches, the beautiful beaches of Melbourne Beach, Florida. We are on our way home. Totally slipped my mind that I did not do an outro for this vlog. We literally, I finished surfing on the ironing board and we got right on the road. So here we are 10 hours later, the ironing board absolutely ripped the conditions the waves out of control i can't even believe i actually got up on a couple there was overhead waves out there that i was just lumping in on and trying to ride the ironing board on i might bring it to puerto rico if i got that thing in roping surf it would absolutely rip it might even be i might even be able to do like turns and stuff on it completely blown away blown away completely blown away by the experiment. Thank you for all the stoke. Turning an ironing board from 1940 into a surfboard. Huge thank you to JP at JP O'Brien DV. Gonna put his Instagram down here. You can check him out. And huge thanks to Jordan, my wife, for always supporting me. She has the housewives on mute right now, so I can do the end of my video. What an honor. What an honor. No, Jordan. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, thank you for the stoke. If you're enjoying it, you can subscribe, you can leave a like, and you can leave a comment in the comment section down below. A lot of stuff coming up. Can't even remember what it is. But the dream is on. I'll see you next vlog for the dream.